What a day, what a day. Uh, thank you for coming out in this lousy weather. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, as with all benches over 40 events, uh, you know, it will be entertaining and fun, but today's event is very unique and special in many, many ways. Uh, we reconnect with old friends, we find new ones, as you've seen, and gather so much information about our history, our legacy, and our lives that each event becomes an important time capsule of the people being honored and of dance and of all the life that we've experienced in dance. A little history about the Legacy Awards. Uh, I remember going to Joyce Serio Dunbar's apartment, oh, it must have been eight, nine years ago, uh, even before I was on the board, and present were Marjorie Beto, Larry Merritt, and one or two other people. And we were all talking about wanting to give an award to our members from our members, an award for outstanding contribution to dance and to dances over 40. And we wanted to call it the Gwen Verdon Awards, we were going to have it at the Edison Hotel, but all that, what happened in the 90s happened, I don't know why it didn't really happen in, even in the, in, in the early 2000s. But anyway, over the years, as we progressed as an organization, we started some other uh, projects that have made it logical to continue and do this Legacy Award. Uh, we started our arts workplace where we can post your pictures on our website so that you all can get work because there's work out there for mature artists. We have a legacy project where we're interviewing all of our members, written, so we can interview you here in New York, and people as far away as Hawaii can be interviewed. And we can have those written up and put at the Lincoln Center Library, as well as our videotapes of our events. So all those things together made us think, you know, it's about time we did something else as far as legacy, and that we needed to, um, to honor our own. Yeah. So the board and I thought of names for the award in the past year. We floated, you know, prospective honorees. This has been going on for a long time. But we wanted to make sure that all of our members understood that these awards were for them, by them, and about the history, the legacy, and the lives of our members who have contributed to dance so much in the 20th century and this new decade now. Each of today's honorees made dance their life's joy. And we are so grateful that they did. You dance, you live, you create. These wonderful women have done it all, and today we salute them. I could not be more proud to lead this organization than I am today. I admire all the members of this organization and view them with wonder and awe, and I'm extremely proud to be associated with such a wonderful family of artists. Uh, there is really no other organization that does what we do. Uh, provide a community of support to our fellow dancers. And I thank you for your support here today and to all of our members for their commitment to our organization. So now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our hostess with the mostest this afternoon. She knows many of the honorees personally and pleaded with me to do this event. And she's very persuasive. She also said if it wasn't for her and her hit Broadway show, our members would have had lost about a million hours of work back in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the indescribable, the indefatigable, one of the hardest working women in show business, Miss Carol Channing. <laughs> of time and though a fool might say I passed my prime my heart is always clung to staying almost young a few gray hairs a few gold teeth can never hide the kid that's underneath the kid whose hopes are hung on staying almost young my walk is fast and sporty, my disposition is evergreen. Why say we're over 40, we're over 17? We'll still have all the speed it takes when all the other 
Others have applied their brakes And when the nails are rung I'll still be struck and kicking Like some little chicken and almost young So if you think this funky pup Is either bogging down or slowing up You better hold your tongue I'm feeling almost young Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the ever youthful 2009 recipients of the Dancers Over 40 Legacy Awards. And they are Nicole Bart, Mark Beto, Mark Champion, Chimsy Nalak. And the ever 40, Mr. John Safakis. Yes. <laughs> My bones are often racked up. They often act up each time it rains. But my arthritis and my phlebitis are simply growing pain. So let them say I passed my peak, that I'm a million years from hide and seek. But when my nail is rung, I'll still be tough as a riddle and fit as a fiddle and struck me kicking like some little chicken and all. Most, hello. Almost, almost, yeah. so much. What an honor it is to be here on this auspicious occasion. I have to tell you that the way that Mr. Safakis, or Safakis, depending on what day of the week it is, uh, yes, the way that he described my ar arriving today is absolutely not true. He called me up and he said, Carol, he always calls me Carol, and he, uh, well, he does, yes, and he says, Carol, you simply must come to the two 2009 Legacy Awards because there are no smiles like the smiles of the patrons of the 2009 Legacy Awards. <laughs> and here you are proving it, just sitting out here and smiling <laughs> and smiling <laughs> and smiling <laughs> like you have absolutely nothing else to do with your time today. <laughs> Yes, you can help yourself, can you, dear? What is your name? That's right, yes. Well, anyway, well, why would he lie about something like that? Now, uh, Greg, what brings you here today? Well, I'm here because my wife is here. You're here because your wife is here? Are you the wife? Oh, Karen, I had no idea you were married. The way she gets around, I have no idea. You know, uh, Karen, how long have you two been married? Going on 40 years. Going on, wait, wait, excuse me, Ivor, Ivor, do you know this? This could be a sad story. Uh, yes. Now, you've been going on 40 years. How did you two meet? <laughs> oh, she's what we used to call a good time girl. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, how did you two meet? Well, we met over a breakfast. I was having waffles and ice cream, and Greg was having a martini. <laughs> He's still having a martini. Oh, it's the same one 40 years later, and she's the same one 40 years later as well. And Karen, how happy are you with him? <laughs> well... <laughs> Can I see your hands, Karen? Karen, I don't know how to break this to you. You're not as happy as you think you are. Here is a little happiness. Thank you. And whatever you do, don't get it appraised.